An immense passion for science is vital to push boundaries of research, but the most important factor is the inspiration to change lives. Amrita Center for Nanosciences and Molecular Medicine was started with this vision and has been constantly striving to attain excellence in education and research. We are India's first nanobio center and one of the thematic units of excellence under the nano mission generously funded by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. In addition, immense support from the Department of Biotechnology and the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy has helped us be where we are today. Our beginning was an inspiration. Our Chancellor Amma inspired us with the idea that research is a tool to serve society. And we were also inspired by nanotechnology to make significant contributions in the area of healthcare, energy and water. This short video will take you through where we have come, the dreams we have been able to realize and where we can go from here. Inspiration is what drives research at Amrita Center for Nanoscience and Molecular Medicine. We embrace this vision and aspire to lead discoveries in nanoscience and molecular medicine. Through dedicated and continuous effort, ACNSMM has contributed tremendously in basic and translation science. There have been several innovations in the field of cancer nanomedicine. If you look at human history, cancer is one of the toughest diseases we ever faced with. At Amrda, we have a major cancer nanomedicine program where we develop nanomedicines that specifically detect and kill cancer cells and cancer stem cells. This is a unique protein nanomedicine which was developed for cancer therapy. Here we use two human proteins which are self-assembled to form a coarser nanoparticle. This particular system effectively targets the multiple mechanistic pathways of leukemia and liver tumor. This is a nanofibrous polymeric implant to treat brain cancer. This implant can deliver multiple drugs for a long period in the brain without affecting any other part of the body. Theragnosis is an emerging technique wherein we can combine diagnosis and therapy together. Here in the center we have developed this doped calcium phosphate nanoparticles for image guided treatment of cancer using MRI, optical, ultrasound and nuclear properties. This is a simple light based nano sensor for the detection of oral cancer patients at an early stage. Here we used confocal Raman spectrometallurgy method for its detection. We can use this technology at community level for large scale screening of oral cancer patients. Molecular medicine is an upcoming field that has immense potential in identifying specific molecular tools for disease diagnosis, treatment, prognosis and prevention. At ACNSMM, researchers have made significant progress in this direction. Proteomics Laboratory's motto is research from bedside to bedside and back to bedside. In this regard, we have identified molecules specific for central nervous system leukemia as well as for neurodegenerative disorder multiple sclerosis. And apart from the identification of these molecules, we have developed an in-house low-cost, commercially viable protein verification system with which we could develop diagnostic kits which is affordable to common men. Our team has developed protein molecules based on antibodies which actually target antigen molecules on surface of cancers. Our aim is to develop them so that they target these cancer cells and kill them either by directly binding to them or by delivering cancer nanomedicine. My stem cell lab in collaboration with Dr. Krishnaguma Menon developed a three-dimensional bone marrow niche-like condition for testing the chemosensitivity of leukemic stem and progenitor cells. This can be used as an effective in vitro drug screening platform and this is that is one step closer towards the personalized medicine. Regenerative medicine and drug delivery are other promising areas in medical research. Researchers at ACNSMM have been working on several cutting-edge areas related to this field. In our lab, we have actually developed the novel technique of uh, 3D spinning wherein we have got these polymeric threads which can be developed into continuous yarns and that can be made further into fabrics of this kind which can be drug loaded and can also be developed into vascular grafts that are currently under testing in rabbit models. In tissue engineering lab, we develop nanotechnology based biomimetic bond substitute which is mechanically stable, biodegradable and has good bond regeneration potential. The material can also be imaged non-invasively by CT or MRI. We believe that it's a promising candidate for reconstruction of bond defects 
which is a great challenge in orthopedics. In our polymer chemistry lab, we are focusing on developing flexible hydrogel bandages with bioactive and antibacterial nanomaterials for burn infectious and hyperfibrinolytic wounds. We are also developing injectable hydrogels for hard and soft tissue regeneration. The backbone of the center is its state-of-the-art facilities that house some of the most sophisticated and advanced equipment needed for research. These research facilities are supported by Government of India grants from DBT, DST, ICMR, CSIR, UGC and MNRE. The DST Amrita Animal MRI facility houses a 7 Tesla high resolution imaging system that is used routinely by researchers for live animal imaging studies. The DBT Amrita TEM facility has a high resolution field emission transmission electron microscope that is capable of atomic level characterization. The DBT Amrita confocal imaging facility accommodates a two photon laser confocal microscope along with a Raman imaging system. These are used extensively in research for high quality imaging at the cellular level. The animal facility at Amrita houses both small and large animals for research purposes. It also contains a nude mice facility for those studies that require immunocompromised animals. The animal cardiac catheterization facility houses a motorized state-of-the-art C-arm that is used for major cardiovascular studies in large animals. The Medaka fish core facility has been set up to understand the fundamental aspects of reproductive and developmental biology and also the toxicity of nanomedicines. These tiny creatures help us to understand the reproductive and developmental biology and toxicity of nanomedicines. Patients with chronic pain disorders have several abnormalities in their pain neurons. In this context, what we are trying to do is to specifically deliver drugs to these pain neurons so the patients can manage their pain better. The proteomics facility has an analytical platform for molecular profiling of proteins and their identification using cutting-edge mass spectrometry. This facility helps in identifying disease-specific molecules of clinical significance for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. The state-of-the-art cell culture facility accommodates high-end equipment capable of studying the fundamentals of cellular and molecular biology. The advanced immunohematology and flow cytometry lab routinely carries out tests for disease diagnosis and research. Several state-of-the-art tests to diagnose acute leukemia, chronic lymphoproliferative disease, autoimmune and infectious diseases are being carried out routinely in this facility. The Advanced Materials Characterization Facility includes all major testing equipment to facilitate research in nanomaterial science. The Computational Biology Facility includes expansive computational capability for preclinical drug discovery and design for various different diseases. Our Computational Biotechnology Lab was set up in 2011 and was based on the preclinical drug discovery program for different diseases. Our main computational approaches include computer-aided molecular modeling, structure-based drug design, and nanomaterial modeling and drug delivery. We are testing them under in vitro condition against their antimicrobial properties as well as in animal. Then we are testing them in animal models to study their efficacy. The design drug molecules, we have a plan to go for clinical trials after their testing in the in vitro and preclinical settings. In addition to biomedical research, ACNS MM houses the nanosolar division with focus on energy conversion and storage. Nano Solar Energy Design Center has got 55 people working on product development and product realization for the rural poor. I'd like to show you one of our products, which is a storage integrated solar module. This is a special kind of solar module which has got the batteries and the supercapacitors embedded into the system. It is super thin. This piece can charge mobile phones and this one can do tablets and laptops. 44% of our rural population use kerosene for lighting. Imagine how much we can change their life if we use our solar home lighting system that can power four LED lamps for up to six hours. This is a low cost LED lamp compliant to international standards like EN61003-2 for harmonics and 
CISPR 15 for electromagnetic compatibility. We have two models here, one 7 watt and one 9 watt. This is a low cost 3D printer. We can create, we can print any 3D computer designed artifacts like this on this printer. And we are here in a research to uh, print any biomaterials for medical use. It's an innovative solar charge controller which can convert any battery backup inverter into a solar inverter. It is not being done because there is no product like this. This is a product which can do that. This is a product which is going to change the way we are going to use energy. This is spray pyrolysis deposition system used for electrode fabrication. These electrodes are subsequently assembled by the robotic units to fabricate complete third generation solar modules. Our aim at Nano Solar Division is to provide solution to the future energy requirements. More specifically, our focus is to develop advanced energy conversion and storage devices. Such as solar modules, lithium ion batteries, solid state batteries, supercapacitor and hydrogen storage systems. We pride ourselves in attracting exceptional faculty trained from countries like the United States, United Kingdom, Australia, Japan, France, Korea, Germany and the Netherlands. In addition, our faculty profile includes scientists who have been awarded prestigious fellowships such as the Inspire Fellowship, the Ramalinga Swami Fellowship and the Ramanujan Fellowship. The center also actively collaborates with several reputed international researchers. Till date, the center has generated 329 high-impact journal publications with a median impact factor of around 4. We have also successfully launched three innovative MTech programs in nanomedical science, molecular medicine and nanotechnology and renewable energy, which were first of their kind in India. The center also has a strong alumni network that pans the globe. We at ACNS-MM aspire to transcend boundaries by combining high-quality research and innovation with values and intellectual freedom. With such outstanding research impetus, we look forward to our upcoming state-of-the-art 11-floored research building with over 120,000 total square feet area. This facility will further allow us to expand and broaden our research horizon all under one roof. We are deeply satisfied that some of our dreams in nanotechnology and molecular medicine could be realized. We are very grateful to the Ministry of Science and Technology for their constant support, encouragement and mentoring through the departments of science and technology and the department of biotechnology. Inspired by research, inspired to serve.